Well, on Capitol Hill, a race to raise the debt ceiling before the U.S. runs out of money to pay its bills. Today, the House votes on the bipartisan deal struck between President Biden and Speaker McCarthy. But there is significant pushback from both sides of the aisle as lawmakers are asked to accept concessions to keep the nation from an unprecedented default. White House correspondent Allison Harris has the latest vote count. Hey, Allison. Good morning to you, Kelly. 30 House Republicans and counting say that they are going to vote against this deal today for the first time since House Speaker Kevin McCarthy secured the gavel. There are public threats to his speakership. The bill narrowly passed a vote of the House Rules Committee last night with representatives Ralph Norman and Chip Roy voting against it. Those GOP hardliners saying that this deal normalizes high spending and it doesn't do enough to cut federal spending. Instead, it suspends the debt limit for two years. But it's not only Republicans who are furious. There's real furor from Democrats as the Speaker and the White House are trying to drum up support, saying this is a reasonable agreement for both sides. If you're interested in doing political wins, vote for this bill. But if you're interested in actually having a real fiscal win, then it's time to go back to the table and negotiate out something better. I'm very angry and continue to tell people we've been held hostage in a way that we should never be held hostage. We understand the consequences if we were to default on paying our bills. But at the same time, people really need to understand there are things in this bill that I would never vote for standalone. The White House is huddling with Democrats on this, and Speaker McCarthy is projecting confidence, standing by his hard-fought deal with the president, as House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries says McCarthy better also stand by his promise to deliver votes on this deal. If you sit back and listen to a lot of economists, they'll say this is the strongest debt ceiling we ever had. Do you feel you, there, there are going to be enough votes here on the Democratic side to deliver this? Uh, first things first. It's going to be important for Republicans to deliver on their promise of at least 150 votes in support of the resolution that they themselves negotiated. How realistic is that, you think, at this point? Remains to be seen. The House takes this up this afternoon, then it would move on to the Senate. Both sides do ultimately expect to th this to pass uh, the House today. It does need to get done before that new deadline, June 5th, when the U.S. is projected to run out of money to pay its bills. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.